Hey, yo, what you little talkative talk here. And we are trying a brand new one. This is Rogue Genisha. 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 Whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's a very promising looking vampire survivors clone. And, you know, there's apparently a rogues mode and a survivor mode. Uh, I got no idea the difference, so let's just crack right into it. Let's have a look. So the goal, uh, the map looks very Slayer Spirey, as you can see, which is a good thing, um, in my opinion. I, I think it brings out very nice aesthetics in games. So I'm thinking, what, we go straight, we get the chest, we curve across. Well, I'm guessing, you know, like, question marks are going to be, you know, either event rooms or something. Um, shurikens are the lowest health enemy. Uh, so let's see, one damage, uh, well, for the spear, I mean, one second, one... Projector one piercing two attacks uh point seven five two project uh let's go with more projectiles you can't go wrong wait oh it actually oh wait oh just go uh, I thought for a second it goes towards the mouse I was like oh that'd be so sick in fact it did not very sad but you know here we are oh that's actually kind of nice so let's see we can get the damage up attack that's really good that's surprisingly good like it's half a second attack speed that's and the damage went up that's <laughs> basically tri quadrupled our damage that's that's kind of insane uh damage stays the same but if we get this our base damage i'm guessing this is multiplier come back here i love you never mind they don't love me anymore um so yeah i mean it's a very promising oh so in the top left we apparently have our goal of what we need to do uh, which is kind of nice um me thinks uh i could be wrong why did only one shoot that's quite interesting oh okay so they shoot out it's not like they all go towards the enemy it just shoots out which does that mean in theory if only it takes one shot against kill an enemy Ooh, or do they all stack and it does the risk of rain scary thing where you never know or like risk of rain one is that one enemy standing there <laughs> or is that multiple and you're, and you're just there like you you want to know but you're too scared and you're just like Aah. um and also for those brand new here i'm not sure if you just noticed in this game but i really love the fact that as you slowly level up it just ticks up like the pitch of the of the collection sound do you hear that it gets ever so slightly you know higher pitch that is just oh, it's just really nice because it gives you an audio cue of you know when you can expect um to level which oh wow that's actually pretty cool Sorry, i've not seen something like that before in um one of these clones sadly i don't think we have a dash or maybe we can get dashes later who knows what do we have Pick up radius, uh, on dash, throw a knife in a direction. Uh, I really don't care about that. I'd probably just go pick up radius. I'm not really sure how useful that 0 0.5 is, but you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. Ooh, so apparently question marks have gold XP card. Uh, XP multiply goes up, defense goes very much down. Multi-handed, more projectiles, sure. It heals you on level awesome you gotta love it when games give you a metric ton of leveling stuff um that's not bad to be fair we now just literally throw out all the projectiles and we get free chicken so you know i'm not, I'm not complaining the boy's not complaining oh okay so actually the projectiles on his sailor towards a single enemy they are in fact random wait okay no, uh, for a second uh, I can't tell if I'm actually firing towards something or not. It, it, it's quite hard to, uh, like, I mean, my mouse. Like, am I aiming towards my mouse and it shoots or not? It, it's kind of hard to determine. Uh, and apparently we lost audio for some things. Uh, I mean, it's not the end of the world. I mean, it is an early access game. Uh, so it is to be expected. I mean, there, there's a bunch of early access games nowadays. Oh, so, yeah. But I mean, uh, I'm quite surprised that the oil, that the um, projectile, or, uh, you know, firing sound just disappeared on us, and it's back now, but it disappeared previously. We got more gold. There doesn't seem to be a use for gold yet. More of this. Oh, so you actually aiming? I guess does that mean we get more damage in the direction we aim? Uh, it's not worth losing the attack speed. I mean, yes, we do attack faster, but it ain't particularly worth 
Wait, so does that mean if I aim there, I, I can't tell if my spears are firing in that direction, to be honest. At the moment, like, I've got so many projectiles that it's just tickling the enemy. I mean, I guess the good thing about having so many projectiles is they clean up trash. You know, it takes care of the trash mobs. Oh, that's so satisfying. That... I should just get closer and closer. It's just like... Oh, so nice. Lose defense, but the multiplier goes up. Ow. Sure. A bow. Shoot to the closest enemy. Two damage. 1.5 attack delay and five project. Five projectors. Okay. Come on. I mean, it seems okay. I mean, I, I think the reason perhaps why we're not doing as much damage is we took that um, all the projectiles. We're doing half the initial damage, which makes sense. Um, that's not bad. Attack speed goes up. Projectiles go down. I'd honestly just get this, just for the double damage. More gold, another card. Attack rates, attack speed, projectile size. I don't really care about the projectile size, to be honest. But the pickup radius is kind of mental. Um, we can pick things up from 50% further away now, which is just, you know, amazing. Um, so yeah, I mean, the game is really interesting. I mean, I, I like the, the semi-3D effect and... I, one thing I have to give the devs credit for is you can cheese the waves from very close, which I've not actually seen a lot of uh, of these vampire survivor clones do. So a lot of them, they literally trace the hitbox to the extent of like with this. Like, look, look, you can literally like, ooh, ooh, um, still get hit by the wing, but you, you don't take the damage. And most of the other clones, from what I've seen, is like, as soon as you hit the sprite, you take damage. And it's just like... <sighs> I don't know, a lot of people are like, yeah, but you know that, why are you complaining? And I'm like, why do I need to avoid the sprite? It's just the sprite, you know, like, get out of my way, <laughs> you know? Like, and I, that's a hill I'll gladly die on. Um, like, because these micro um, adjustments to make the game more enjoyable it just brings out the fun of the game. For me personally, I know a lot of people are probably disagree and be like well actually i don't in the slightest and i'm like ah oh, fair enough fair enough oh interesting sorry i know my brain just did like the classic piece of candy thing but um i see this is actually a time stage so in exactly uh up here uh 112 i think the stage ends that's fascinating actually we actually should, we actually should check that so in theory in three seconds after we finish the stage is over and now it's over yes wow uh, i do think we should probably get dodges because we don't seem to be doing a lot of damage sort of kind of maybe attack speed no sure just upgrade the shuriken uh i don't think it was worth you know maybe going for the damage but oh wow 1200 gold a lot of xp card what do we get Damage ups, really, really fast attack speed, sure. Uh, automatically attract half of everything at the end of the stage. Wait, so if we attract half of the food, that would imply that the food... Hmm. Hmm. Hang on, I'll finish that all in a second. Let's get the spear. Um, um, that's not worth picking up. That's not bad. A 17% increase for 4% decrement. Uh, slows down enemies on hit. Yes. Uh, but what I'm saying is the fact that we pick up food at the end of the stage, that would imply any health loss is permanent. Which, oh, that was a dash. I just saw the spear and I was like, piece of candy. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. But I mean, the uh, amount of projectiles and multi-hit stuff we have is insane if i don't know any better I, I think this would be an anime you know like that um <laughs> my mom with a multi-stage multi-hit passive which was just it, it it was definitely one of those animes where it's why does this exist but you're also like fair enough fair enough <laughs> you know like i'm complaining but at the same time it's like yeah you know like <laughs> especially with the recent anime naming conventions it's like so stupid I mean, literally, there's uh, uh, the name of anime. So I just, I just laugh when I think about that coming out. It's just so ridiculous. It's literally like, oh, adventurers who lost faith in the world go adventuring. And it's like, my brothers in Christ, just get a normal name. 
Like, we had Bleach, we had One Piece for years. Now we've got all these long ass names. Like, ain't nobody gonna rem remember them. I mean, we do, but like, that's not the point. You know, it's like, why do, do these names have to be so crazy? Um, more gold, sick. Card selection, move speed, projectile size, pickup radius. Uh, pickup radius, I think we are fine. I'd say move speed, so in case, you know, we get into some spicy situations, we can dip. So, so let, let, let's make a conscious choice. Let's say, I guess, it's a shop. So, if we go shop, skull, chest, skull, skull, question mark, question mark, shop. Yes, the reason why I say that is I really... Oh, what's this? That's new. Uh, so, we can select a card, multi-handed, more projectiles. Holy crap. That's awesome. Cardio... Wow, 1% attack speed. And now, uh, increase XP gain. <coughs> well, can you guess what I'm going to take? Because <laughs> the faster we level, the more cards we have. The more cards we have, you know, the the just hyperscaling we get. I don't know, everyone is just like sighing and just face bombing like, Maurice, just say that every game and then you just get absolutely smashed. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not the point. It's what makes m me have fun in a game. Even if I die, it's about what, uh, you know, you're enjoying that was close to the game. That's all that matters. Um, let's get the size up only because it's basically at the end. Because what's really nice is each of the upgrades in this game don't scale infinitely. So you can't do what I do in basically soul survivors and just stack them infinitely. I mean, I'm not saying what soul survivors is doing is bad. I'm just saying um, my bad habits <laughs> of basically tunnel visioning on stats instead of realizing hey there's probably a better way to do xyz and then i'm just like yes through uh pickup radius not worth so a fourth mm, that wow really 0.25 you're gonna be taking the piss um yeah no which oh wow that would see like that sort of thing there like I have really good reaction time, and the fact that the devs just make it a bit more lenient just makes you feel like, oh, whenever you do pull off things like that. Now let's go with a bow. I don't think it's worth getting the move speed just yet. Maybe in a couple stages. Um, but no, this game is definitely one of those games. I'm kidding. Uh, the game is very fun. Uh, I do enjoy it. Um, it's definitely very fun. And anyone who's a fan of the, you know, reverse bullet hell games, should definitely give it a try. I mean, uh, it's it's fairly inexpensive as well. Hmm. 16% increase, 7%. Honestly, uh, the crit chance is probably the best way to go just because we have so many projectiles. You know, it's the throw everything at a wall and see what sticks. Myth wow, that's a lot of XP. Unless it's not, and I'm just like, it's a lot. And then it's like, not really, it's actually quite bad. Um, <laughs> so... That's not worth at all, to be honest. That's quite garbage. We don't need the pickup radius. We'll just get the spike shield. Gilgamesh ring. Uh, a tainted and normal rarity soul cards are 75 less likely to appear. Oh, so we get more higher level stuff. That's that's kind of mental, to be honest. What do we have? Uh, bow. Yeah, I knew we were going to level a couple of times. Yes, let's get the shurikens. Oh, we leveled twice. And we're near leveling a final time, please. But yeah, I do think the strat we have here, which is just... <laughs> throw everything out of wall that sticks yeah so we went for the dash there because i've been meaning to get a dash but you know piece of candy doberman brain is like oh piece of candy and then like your brain like actually takes a couple seconds to buffer and realize what you just did and you're like why am i like this and yeah you know anybody here who's the same you're just like yeah no that's relatable that's relatable but i have to ask your favorite vampire survivors clone lately what is it you, you, you got to tell me like leave a comment let me know uh or don't you know it's up to you i mean i'm a i'm a huge fan of uh, this and soul survivors uh, there are a couple out there that i still want to try i actually bought a couple as well um especially on the steam sale i think i bought like 50 new roguelikes or some, something ridiculous like that um it's literally not my fault i mean i mean it is my fault i'm the one who bought it but like you can't threaten me with a good time i'm a massive you know indie roguelike fan uh, and you know it's just the games are just so nice you know because the devs typically put a lot of love in them and you can feel it like hades is a good example right it's just it's just so nice uh, i think we lose a bit of attack speed i can just get an attack speed upgrade oh, 
Yeah, no, that was worth. Oh, that sound. I know I said every time, but that sound is just... Oh, it's icing on the cake. It's just so good. And the dashes in the game are fantastic. I'm not sure what engine this game is made in. If it, It's probably Unity, and I have to say, um, Dev did an amazing job. Really, um... I 100%, you know, it's, it's just, if it's Unity, because I mean, Unity, it's, it, it's Unity. I mean, every single gay indie game has basically been made in that, uh, except for a couple have been made in Godot, you know, which I'm quite pleasantly surprised on. I mean, like Rotator, <laughs> yeah, it, it's a definite one. And we do have a Rotator video coming up. I just need to actually record it and, you know, get it out. It's just, I need to delete the save as the play corrupted, sadly. Uh, so that means I am literally, <laughs> uh, remember the, a couple of videos back we had the hard drive issue? Yeah, that was a lot of content we lost, uh, unfortunately, because I had a bunch of stuff pre-recorded and schedule, I was going to schedule them out and now I'm actually just recording a couple days ahead. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. It's not the end of the world, it's just annoying is what it is. Oh, these, all these projectiles we have are just fantastic. Oh, so, oh no, I don't want to lose projectile count. No, I'd rather just get pick up radius. The reason I don't want to lose the projectile count is right now, we're just doing a scattergun approach. Although, to be fair, I'm starting to see some frame drops. <laughs> a little bit of frame drops. But it is handling a lot of units on screen, so you know. Maybe, maybe we, we forgive it, you know. Uh, health regen for a health down. Uh, I... Ooh, that's not bad. That's a... No, it's, it's terrible. We'll take this. Um, and yeah, you know, um, it, it, it's a nice clone. Definitely. I mean, it, it's a unique take on the genre, you know. Yes, it's top down, but it's like a mix of 3D top down. I just love it. it it's, it's really nice. 10 out of 10 would highly recommend. And I love the fact that the devs literally said, okay, we attract the stuff close to or further away from you so you can pick up stuff you know while you're dashing towards it so which is just a, a nice little little thing the devs have done i i really appreciate things like that okay so this is a special stage i'm guessing uh guessing yeah i'm guessing uh, i'm guessing this is a increased spawn rate stage because there's a lot of units um i don't think it's worth picking up this yet i want to wait until we have a higher base damage so it's going to be absolutely ridiculous. Um, mainly for the reason being, I don't think it's worth losing the 17% crit we have right now when we have so many projectiles, because essentially each attack wave we have, we're essentially critting already. Oh, maybe there's audio culling occurring. That's what's happening. Oh, that's actually interesting. Like maybe there's like a point where you, you go in between the mesh of the map or, or, or the plane and then it just clips through and it doesn't get rendered. That would make a lot of sense, actually. Ooh, quite interesting. Ooh, we can get another dash. Uh, I'll just get the crit chance, uh, which I know it probably won't matter because we're probably going to um, just, you know, get that other upgrade, but just in case, because what if we get a decent chunk of crit chance, you know, because then I, you know, consider not getting that. Oh, wow, that's a massive scaly, baby. And I know, like, a lot of these games get flack for, you know, only leveling or, or like, increasing the scale of the enemy. But uh, I think it does a good job, you know, uh, if it's done correctly. If it's done poorly and, you, and it's blurry, it's kind of just a piss take. It's like, you could at least just apply, you know, sharpening filters so it doesn't look blurry. But, like, when it's done like this, it's, it's really well done. 10 out of 10 would highly recommend. 10 minutes in, we're doing decent. More projectiles. So we're not getting rid of our crit chance. We have too many projectiles. Gold XP card. I uh, don't need a dash, I think. Sharpening stone, base damage, more dash. Yes, let's just get more dash. Ah, more dash. Oh, my throat just went there. Hmm. Uh, I think I'm just thirsty. Card select, muscle, projectile size. Increase, but reduce. So more things spawn, but they're a lot easier to kill. Well, the question is, on the toughness scale, we kind of one-shot everything. So if we get this, can we get a card? No, we can't. But we can get a couple of cards. So 
base defense goes up massively. Oh, we can't get a card reroll. Damn it. Fine, we'll, get, we'll just get a lens. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. And we'll just heal. Not that I think we need to heal, but, you know, we're, we're at the end. We might as well. We might as well. I'm not going to do this. That's pointless. Uh, projectile size. Sure. Right. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. That, like, look at this. This is mental. <laughs> We're doing so much damage. I don't think it was supposed to be doing this much damage to the bosses. Uh, I, I think we're supposed to actually struggle and like run away. Um, clearly, um, they haven't met this build, which is just called chuck everything at the wall and see what sticks. Um, this is definitely worth just because pickup radius goes slightly down, but with a massive increase in XP gain, which is always worth the offset especially you know it's only pickup range it's not like we lost a, a core crucial stat slay the boss wait that wasn't the boss ayo oh that's the boss oh this is this might take a while i'm guessing that's going to be like a oh it's just a classic bullet hell projectile ah no ow that hurts i mean it doesn't really take a lot of damage but um okay that's kind of annoying uh let's get move speed so i can just follow this thing closer because i don't I, I do damage right we can clearly see i do damage it's just i don't do a lot of damage i do a lot well i do a lot of damage i just don't do a lot of constant damage when there's a, a lot of junk around because of my um attack pattern of course it's basically throw everything at the wall and everything sticks <laughs> which does work in some use cases um clearly as we can see here uh you get further away yeah fun fact you know if you're further away based on projectile travel time you should be doing fine see like look <laughs> easy thing on vectors right there uh, uh that's the neat thing because uh, a lot of developers as well you know you typically run ow, uh, slower in games um diagonally that just vertically or horizontally because of how vector scaling works which is uh interesting especially if they don't normalize it before you know doing the multiplication uh on speed offsets oh wow that's that's insane definitely gonna get that oh look at that oh that's so nice so 1158 oh wow we we, we saved it uh so that's a 11 58 minute run uh y'all welcome 246k damage Thor shop i'm guessing this is where we spend currency yeah so what do we have damage health pickup distance there oh that's not bad that's only five this guarantees void magnet every 12 crates oh okay i'm guessing that's like a attract all the junk type of thing uh health regen re rarity reroll don't care experience multiplier on overkill no idea what overkill is don't really care about this too much. Oh, here. Oh, it was scrolled down all the way at the bottom. Oh, wait. So if I do this. Okay, so that's the other one at the bottom. Base damage, XP multiplier. Uh, for 200, no way. <laughs> Not at all. I'd much rather. So we get pick up, dis pick up distance. Pick up distance again. Uh, we get one more pick. There we go. Problem solved. See, we spend 100 credits. And we get one dash charge, which was awesome. Uh, I would really like if we could just click it because it, I'm really scared that I'm going to mess something up. I don't care about banish or reroll. Um, we've got a dash defense. Mm, it's 10 credits. So is it going to... Can I just max that out? No, I can't. So I've got 37. Max health we don't care about. Uh, let's get another dash. Let's get to defense. And for the final 17 buckaroos, what can we... Ah, let's get the max HP. Um, and yeah, this is essentially Rogue Genisha. Um, I would definitely put it in my top five fun games. Uh, what would y'all put it at? Um, let me know in the comments and we will see you in the next one. Bye.